Love is the foundational dynamic for the universe's development. The elements of the universe are seeking to bond in order to deepen their creativity, which we see even at the level of gravity. Atoms attracted to each other give birth to stars and planets. It is the same at the human level. Our attraction might have different names. Fascination, allurement, love, but the dynamism is the same. Union differentiates. That is, union with things that one is not gives birth to who one truly is. Pursuing what we love enables the universe to advance. If a new world is to be born, it is crucial that we follow our unique fascinations. I'm Brian Thomas Swim with the Human Energy Project. Our series of short films explores the way humanity is building a planetary mind called the Noosphere. As we deepen our understanding of this Noosphere, we discover a common purpose that will help us address our global challenges together. In today's film, we investigate the way in which an increase in population during the Neolithic era led to a much richer context for igniting creativity. The Neolithic was a crossover point from one form of humanity to another. For several hundred thousand years, we had lived in small groups of a couple dozen people. Then we began gathering in villages with populations into the thousands. As we dealt with our mutual challenges of raising families and growing food, new social roles and new inventions came forth. We created pottery. We made proto-writing marks in clay. We invented a new substance, concrete, and constructed buildings that lasted centuries. All of this came from our deepening bonds with one another by pursuing new fascinations that emerged in village communities. Humanity entered a new era. We call this the Cosmic Law of Love. As I mentioned earlier, this law holds at every level and throughout all time, even since the beginning. 14 billion years ago, the matter of the universe consisted of vast clouds of hydrogen. Try a thought experiment with me. Imagine you are a hydrogen atom near a cloud of atoms whose population is right at the crossover point to becoming a star. You, of course, have no idea that by joining this cloud, you will make the gravitational attraction large enough for the cloud to begin fusing hydrogen into helium. Your addition will transform this cloud from random motions to the self-organizing dynamism of a star. That critical crossover point is where we are today with respect to the Noosphere. In our global village, with its instantaneous communication systems, we live inside the transformational moment. The possibilities for creative union with another human have exploded from two dozen in the Neolithic era to substantially more today. The law of love is the pathway forward. A kaleidoscope of differentiation is coming forth as we pursue these new possibilities. Each of us is given the opportunity to become a person who could not have come forth at any other time in human history. Are you interested in learning music from African drummers? A flick of your fingers and you can begin. 
How about the principles of robotics from world experts at Stanford? Your teachers are waiting for you to join their online classes. Why not become a journalist working with one of history's greatest sports writers? All of these and a billion more avenues for development are offered to you by the Global Village. Though the full reality of the noosphere is yet to appear, it is already at work. It does not speak English or Chinese. It conveys its wisdom in the language of longing, of desire, of beauty. Allow our fascinations to lead the way. To find the courage we need, bear in mind always that something as significant as a star is emerging. Something as amazing as a living cell is bursting forth. As we become the unique personality we are destined to be, we are enabling the noosphere to rise. The Human Energy Project is dedicated to exploring the deepening community of humanity. We hope your engagement with our series of films helps you discover your true identity through union with the other.